Now, um, the ironic thing is this exact same circumstance happened to me. And I'm not a 15-year-old boy, I'm a gray-haired old man. And I'm sitting in front of my own apartment complex, and at the time, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a co-op com, uh, complex. At the time, I was the president of the co-op. Um, um, and, and just because uh, uh, a person in, in, who represents blue has some brown on their face does not necessarily mean that they are not following a white supremacist agenda. They buy into this agenda um, basically because this is where their pension is, this is where their boys are, you know. I mean, it was a Puerto Rican who, who came in and saw Abner Rumor right. uh, being sodomized mm -hmm. and walked away and pretended like he didn't see it. You know, so it's not that, you know, just because a person of color is involved does not mean that they're not following a white supremacist uh, Absolutely. agenda. Absolutely. Um, um, uh, uh, um, 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 I've got my yeah. you? Um, now, um, uh, as I said, just because they are um, uh, people of color does not mean that they are uh, not following a white supremacist agenda. Um, and this happened, like I said, this thing happened to me um, uh, in front of my own apartment complex. I'm not a teenager. And, and for the record, at this stage in my life, I am so law-abiding that I am um, more legal, I am more legal and more uh, law-abiding than 99% of the police department, the Congress, the city council uh, <laughs> combined. I mean, you know, I mean, even my music is legal downloads. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't smoke, I don't drink, you know, and I'm, and I'm not playing the numbers. Um, um, but the simple fact is, if they see one black person um, right. sitting somewhere, That's and fall. another black person comes up to them and shakes their hand, I mean, if, if, if I give somebody $5, if I give a kid $5 and say, go to the store for me, there's a good chance that, I mean, they're going like, to come out the sky like SWAT teams, kill us both, and holler drug-related. That's right. That's right. It's called probable cause. That's what they use to cover it. It's terrible. The only, it, it would seem to me that the only thing that's going to even begin to change this is if uh, many of the children of city council members of color uh, get beat up and, 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 and... Get baptized. Right, 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 right. If they, like, re-blackify. get initiated. You know. Um, uh, well, let me, let me say some things to that. Because one of the things, one of the motions of our work around police brutality is going somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, w one of the things that I've been doing in, in, in this region, and I mean on the East Coast, is that I've, I've been trying to uh, galvanize some forces who've been doing police brutality work to try and stop putting a network together where we actually forge a national united front against police brutality. Mm -hmm. and, and ultimately that kind of front should put pressure on the United States Justice Department to really look at this from a systemic fashion as opposed to an individual's so-called civil rights being uh, uh, violated. Also, the other piece underneath this also that we mm -hmm. can't, can't miss, and it's another f uh, avenue for, for an investigation to take place in terms of federal intervention is concerned is that uh, the corruption often drives us too. Mm -hmm. we go, because we, I mean, right. we, I mean, right. we, we find that the, the, the place that, that big police forces have with in the management of drugs right. is huge. Good point. Good you know, point. Uh, Good point. We, 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 it like, seems like from Larry Davis drugs Davis come that, right around the right. uh, areas where the police station is right in the middle of it. Yeah. We, we remember the Larry Davis case, famous over here. Right, uh, right. In our town, right. Ras Baraka, who's, who's uh, the son of, the, of, of Imam Amiri Baraka, mm -hmm. and like a little brother to me also, mm -hmm. uh, when he was first on city council, he had a, co uh, a committee that investigated the gun flow. Mm. on the streets because we got a serious gun plague, mm. gun violence plague in our streets. And it's clearly established that on off-duty, undercover police officers right. were selling most right. of the guns to right. these kids. Right. You know? So that's, and that's, uh, off, and, then when, and once that was out, that there was never anything uh, of an institutional kind to crack down on that, that particular dimension of corruption. It kind of mm -hmm. just went away. Right. And then after right. that, of course, he, right. he lost an election. Right. He's back on city council now. Right. We're trying to do some other things. But the whole question of not just the 
the violation of our individual liberties, but mm -hmm. also the place of corruption in driving that behavior mm -hmm. is something that definitely needs to be looked at to clean some of this mess up, Correct. without a doubt. Correct. Without a doubt. Correct. Correct. So we're going somewhere with this. We, it's not just a case at a time, and often we do it a case at a time, but we're also trying to forge a, a, a national united strategy to put Correct. some pressure on Correct. this Justice Correct. Department, because it's and, our time. And, and, and that is so necessary. Um, um, one of the things I was mentioning is your work uh, as, as a grassroots organization um, and your work around uh, uh, things like violence in the community. And I know um, um, you personally and uh, uh, your organization works very, very hard to try to, to um, redirect young people's energies and right. give them an opportunity to grow and learn and like do their very best. Right. Right. Um, and it's, it's, it's a travesty, <laughs> Travis, travesty, uh, when you find a young man who um, has, has had no run-ins with the, with, the, with the law at all, um, who has an opportunity to like grow a, an intelligent young man, mm -hmm. you know, and his space is violated, he is charged with resisting arrest even though he was beaten up, you know. His mother um, was arrest um, too. It's, it's, right. it's, yeah, it was, it's, it's, it was it's, we, have, we have quite a bit of work to do with that. Yeah, it's like you yanking it, you yanking the legs right out from under me, you yeah, know. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, and 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 you cheered on by the public right. doing this. Right, right. I, that literally happened in the courtroom when um, when the case first started. They were, they packed the case, the courtroom with police officers, mm. and uh, they didn't really tell the family about it until the last minute. So it didn't give us time to mobilize a community presence, mm. Mm. unfortunately. And uh, and they were you know doing threatening gestures to Travis when he was on 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 st on the witness stand. Uh, but even before that, I mean, right after this, his mother was uh, uh, arrested. She was arrested. Uh, we know who you are. You know, after your civil rights, you know, clothes were torn, the whole thing. We had to get her out of jail, uh, you know, around resisting arrest. Amazing. And, this kind of thing. and uh, get our lawyer to hold. I mean, it's, it was, it, they, they've been through a lot. And then, and then, and when you just, just show the videotape, just show what happened and give out the legal dimensions of what that is. If it's not aggravated assault, it's simple assault, it's falsification of police records, and it's official misconduct because he lied about what he said happened. He said he was defending himself and he was really just trying to block. Right, it. That's right. what he said. He said it right on the stand. He said it right in his paperwork, even after the videotape was showed to him in front of a jury. And there were enough people on that jury who believed in this, you know, we got to protect our guys against them. And that went with his, his lawyer's mind. He wasn't doing anything. Uh, so that's all it is. You know, we got to protect our guys. And that's uh, how they yeah, had it. Yeah, yeah, them who? You know, and, uh, you mean like Travis Kravis was called a criminal. His mother was called a devil. And our community was, was called, was basically criminalized. It was a demonization. Right there, Correct. especially at the, Correct. especially at the, um, the closing summation, and you can see how he worked it, and how, and you can see the reactions within the different makeup of the jury. And it was even though it was a majority of color jury, it wasn't all, it wasn't a, 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 all the way. Uh, and all you need is one person, one person, to to say no. To, uh, to, a, to, to, to rendering a verdict and, and, and that person who's on the other side of that charge is off. We're in court on Friday because he has to face this, the three remaining charges, simple assault, falsification of records, this is amazing. and, and, misappropriate, uh, and this um, is amazing. official misconduct uh, as to whether or not he's going to be retried on those charges. They're serious charges. And we're all putting pressure on the, the police department through our city council. I just spoke at city council just this past week to have him dismissed on the official misconduct piece. This is amazing. There's definitely grounds for dismissal. Just, just on the videotape alone and, and the falsification of the records. So it's a, it's a lot going on. It's just, it's where we are. And it also takes place against a very important backdrop. I think that I want people to appreciate uh, the New York, the New Jersey chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union documented of over uh, 200 cases of police abuse in the city of Newark between the years 2006 and 2009. It's a three-year period. Over 200 cases that they were able to document. Some, of course, ended in fatalities. Right. It ended in fatalities. Right. And it, 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 it was an important weapon for us because we had been demanding for a federal investigation for some time. There's some investigation take place, taking place right now. We haven't heard anything. 
And we've had, we've brought people to the Justice Department to hear, so they can hear the, in a preliminary sense, some of those stories. And but we have not gotten the responsiveness that we, we wanted to see yet. And of course, the Justice Department hasn't been all good on that. The Justice Department looked at Sean Bell and said, well, yeah, they shot at the boy 50 times, but we don't see you know, where that violated his rights. Well, we say, well, how many times did he have to get shot at before you to see that? You know, so, uh, so there's, there's, you know, even, even on that level, there's a need for, for some, some serious organized pressure to try and bring that to where it is. And I know folks are saying that, well, even in this climate with who we have in, in national leadership, we're not getting that kind of rhythm. The answer is yes. They, too, need to be pressured. Yes. They, they, I, they mean the president, I assume they're talking. President and the attorney general, who's, and the attorney who's, who's general. right here from New York, Eric Holder. Well, uh, that's that's cute. Um, um, and and actually, who who is the president? and The attorney general is almost irrelevant. In in point of fact, in point of fact, there has to be some uh, redress to the fact that uh, the police can arbitrarily, arbitrarily kill you and get away with it in front of video cameras. You know, I mean, you can argue 50 shots, one shot, 10,000 shots at Sean Bell, but the, but the simple fact of the matter is, is they came up to that car for no good reason and, and opened fire because he didn't respond. The, you know, they, I, don't, I don't know of any white people who, are, are, who go through that. Undercover uh, who had not announced themselves properly. Who had not announced themselves. That's right. Who had not announced themselves. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's like you don't wait till I do something. It's like, well, you know, he was going to do something someday. You know, he was thinking about doing something. So you come up and you, and you kill me. Um, um, at the very least, you provide this show for white people where the police can come out and and just like stop and 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 um, I live on the east side of Manhattan, so there's a whole lot of white people around. And and white people have this this look on their face, like you know they are relieved that the police are stopping you, you know, uh, because I'm sure that this black guy was thinking about doing something, or you know. Um, so it's 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 a show. Uh, if they can get uh, enough people, that they can find something on enough people, their raises are involved in it. So it's a cash cow. It's a, it's a cash cow. You're using me for a television program, and you're not giving me any of the money. I'm, I'm your star. <laughs> you know, I literally die for this show. You know, and there is no redress. There is not our own city council members seem to have no, uh, 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 the attorney general seem to have no problem with the massive amounts of arrests, um, stops and frisks yeah, of, of literally thousands and thousands and thousands of people to catch a handful of people who may have something, you know, and just stopping people for no reason, just based upon the fact that they're black. Malcolm said, if you can't get integration in New York as up to date and cosmopolitan as it's supposed to be, you'll never get it anywhere in this country. He said that after he came back from Mecca, by the way, so the record is clear. Mm. 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 So here we are. Mm. But still, we have to resist. This is our time. These are our kids. This is our community. Man. If we don't fight for the quality of life in our community, like other folks insist that they have a right to in their community, Man. we we would have betrayed our moment. Man. And and so, but we're not going to betray that moment. We're going to raise as much hell as we can and as, as we possibly can, Man. and we're not going to rest until things change. Man. Man. So the struggle continues, Man. and we carry it on. Man. Man. Um, I am I am very disappointed in, in well I'm not disappointed as a matter of fact uh, uh, the lack of efficacy of of our so-called uh, activist community and our political uh, community um, should be disappointing it should be a complete surprise and a shock but it's 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 not. You know, and I think it's more disappointing that it's not disappointing. Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> you they're know. not disappointed. Right, That's right. Right, right, right. I got right. you. Yeah, I um, got you. Um, you know, did I expect this kind of behavior from them? Um, and I and I should expect more. Um, 
What do we do? What do we do? We got to go out, we, we got to do, do what our Panther elders did. We got to go after the babies. Mm. We stabilize our community, but we have to go after our young. Mm. Elijah Muhammad told Malcolm that, and that's how Malcolm built the Nation of Islam. Mm. You go after the young, mm. the old will follow in shame. Mm -hmm.